conditions. And an ugly scene in downtown Vancouver. Conflict turned to violence this morning as protesters clashed with riot police. It began as a peaceful protest, but that was short-lived. The masked marchers began destroying property, smashing windows along Georgia Street. Riot police responded quickly, blocking the largest group of protesters from two sides. Then it got violent and police made several arrests. The march then dispersed into flash mobs, changing direction at will. Some of the more level-headed demonstrators say they disagree with what the masked marauders were doing. It was 10 or 20 of these guys destroying property. There were 150 people here. Uh, I saw other protesters trying to stop. Blocks of Vancouver's downtown core were blocked off this morning because of demonstrators exercising their right to protest the games. But as Deborah Goble reports, what was supposed to be peaceful was anything but. In the beginning, police only watched as the protesters took out their anger on city streets. Yeah, you want your kids out of health care, you moron? But there came a point when this went from ugly to frightening. <laughs> Tourists and locals watched, stunned by what they were seeing. Some, furious that police hadn't yet moved in, wanted to take things into their own hands. Let's get them! Let's fuck them up! Let's get them! That's, that's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Can, you, can you get off the street, sir? But moments later, and hundreds of police were on downtown streets. Tensions running very high on both sides. When a innocent bystander argues with a protester, this is what happens. Not all marching here are militant, but they are all united in their opposition to the Olympics. We can disband, please. The police believe many have come from other parts of Canada and the U.S. About half the group today uh, were criminals who were uh, intent on committing violent acts, including damage to property, including uh, assaulting passerbys. But the protesters say it's the police who are committing the crimes and that it's the IOC who is destroying the city. They are the criminal element who have pilfered the public coffer of as much money as they could take. So from Georgia Street to Robson, they march. The Lionsgate Bridge is shut down to prevent the protesters from blocking the causeway, but that causes major traffic backups. It's absolutely unacceptable. This is a great city, it's a great event, and we should be here enjoying it, not protesting. Eventually, seven people are arrested. Protesters will not say if this is the last militant action they will be taking during the Olympics. Deborah Goebel, CBC News. Vancouver.